Hey guys, Isojet here and today I'm going to show you how you can install the Wii and GameCube emulator on your PC and Mac. First thing we're going to do is go to dolphin-emu.org. The link will be in the description for you. Once you're here, you're going to go to the top, you're going to click on download, and then we're going to go to the very bottom to the stable versions and you're going to download it for PC and Mac. On PC you got the 86 and 64 bit versions. We're also going to download the development versions for both as well. Now on the Mac, we're going to find where the files are. You're simply going to double click on it and drag it over to your applications to install. You can do the both files and on the PC, you're just going to do your regular installation process. On the second part for the Mac, make sure you hit keep both so you have both versions stable in development. On the PC though, for the development, you have to extract it to the folder that you're, you're in. On the Mac, after it's all done, we're just going to open it, show you that they're both working, got 4.0. And for the development one, you might have to right click and then hit open. And we got the development version. Here we go. On the PC, after you extracted it, we're going to cut it and we're going to simply just paste it to our desktop. There's no way to actually install it into your game. You have to go into the file. Now I'm going to go to your Wii control settings here. Here's the one for the mouse. I'm going to load up the one for the Xbox One controller here. And you can simply copy mine if you wish. As you can see, I got like the A button for A, the X button for B. Y for 1, B for 2, you can simply click on this to change it to how you want it to be. I have the IR with the left joystick, swing with the right joystick, D-pad with the D-pad, and I have shake with the left trigger. That's, I like it this way, it works well for how I play. You can I'll also show you how I have my nunchuck config. You can go ahead and copy my settings if you wish. I have my the stick with the left joystick, the swing with the left joystick, I have shake for the nunchuck with the LB or L1 and my buttons as RB or R1 and Z with the right trigger. Now you can also, s after you do this, don't forget that the top where it says profile, you go here and you can save your config settings and also device if you have another controller you can change it to the other controller for those settings. You also have the GameCube set up here. So just again, you can kind of copy how mine's all set up here. It shows you, I got the main stick with the left stick, I got the C stick with the right stick, my buttons as is. And after that, we're gonna open up a ROM. So you're gonna find your ROMs, you can hit open and you can start playing your game. But you'll see you don't have your ROMs here. So we go browse, find out where you have your ROMs located and boom, we've got all the all the ROMs right sitting right here. So now I'm going to go, go through the configs with you. I keep my frame limit to 60. Yours might say auto. I like to keep it at 60. For me, it seems to be better this way. Everything else, it's pretty much how it came. And then we also got the graphic settings. Now this, I've changed my back end to OpenGL. First had it was direct 3D11, but OpenGL seems to be a little bit better. Full screen resolution, you can change that. Use full screen on and off. I recommend having it off until you do a few settings. You can change your resolution. I have mine at four times. A anything else you want to change here? A little bit of hacks, like we'll go through this later on. This will all affect how the game runs for certain ROMs. You may have to turn some things on, some things off, advance. Same thing, but you don't really have to touch a whole bunch here. Now I'm going to go to the development version that we just downloaded to hit run pretty much the same settings especially from if you set up on your stable version they should roughly be the same and under advanced you can see we have the cpu clock override feature which is a new one i'm going to turn this guy on and then we're going to go over to graphics pretty much the same as the stable version there's a little bit different settings here as you can see the development version is always updating so you can always get a new version Another feature is the resolution. We can change it all the way up to 5K if you have a 5K monitor and a few other settings from down below. Hacks are pretty much the exact same as the stable version and same with advanced here. Before you download games onto your computer and want to play them and you think they're going to work r really well, go to the c compatibility on the same website and you can see how stable the game is. See on the right there, there's stars. We're going to go down to New Mario Bros. And you can see it's five stars. So it's really good stable you click on it they'll tell you what kind of hacks or advanced features you should have on it says that the pixels will look a little weird so we should turn on force texture I'll show you that right now as you can see we boot up super Mario bros it looks a little weird so we're going to go to our enhancements 
and I'm gonna leave force texture off. I'm gonna go to hacks though, where it says EFB copies, disable that. You can see the game's very much better now. You can also change a few other things to see if your frame rate's gonna drop down or not. So switch it over from texture to RAM. You can see my frames per second went down a little bit. Switch it back to texture, it's back to 6060. You can play around with these settings. You can also go to that website and look at the features that they have. If your game looks shitty, not clear like this, don't forget to go back to your graphics and probably change the resolution. You probably have it set to auto or one, one times native, so you're gonna have a little shitty view like this when you should have a good view like this. One last thing I want to go over with you guys is as you can see some games you're gonna have to change your controller settings as you can see my left joystick is controlling the star and it's controlling mario so what we're gonna do is go to our controller settings and fix this up so we can play the game I'm simply gonna change my ir to my right joystick so i'm gonna go up down left and right and after this i'm gonna go ahead go to profile and i'm gonna rename it to mario superstar Hit save, it's been saved forever now. I can always go back to my old settings and now I can use the right joystick, move around and run. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any problems, leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Big question a lot of people are gonna ask is where can I download ROMs? Where can I get ROMs and etc. The illegal short answer is you don't download games, you buy games and then you dump them from the Wii onto your PC. I don't advise you to download games. I know of people that will Google search for ROMs and download them that way, or they'll even use torrents and download the ROMs that way as well. I advise buying the game, dumping it onto your PC, and then you have the legal copy. But before you waste time dumping a game, buying a game, downloading a game, whatever you choose to do, remember go to the compatibility part of the website and check to make sure that game will run. What a waste of time getting a game, wasting money buying a game, whatever it is, and the game will only run at two stars. Thanks for watching again. See you later.